You're watching WMAR 2 News. Hi, I'm Ashley James. A man is dead after a fight at a bar in Baltimore County around 2 o'clock Sunday morning. County police responded to Brewers Landing Bar and Grill in Essex. They say several fights had broken out there and two men were stabbed. 25-year-old Roger Walker of Essex was taken to the hospital where he died. Police do have a suspect in custody. They say he was also injured in the fight. We don't believe that the victim had a knife in this case. We believe the only person who had the knife was the suspect. But the suspect did suffer some wounds and he did have to be transported to an area hospital as well for treatment. Once the suspect recovers and is released from the hospital, he will be formally charged. Legendary Georgetown basketball coach John Thompson has died. That's according to DC radio station, the Team 980. Thompson is the first African-American head coach to win the NCAA National Championship back in 1984. He coached at Georgetown from 1972 until 1999. Thompson's 79th birthday would have been this Wednesday. We are working to get more information on this developing story. We'll be sure to bring you the latest updates as we get them. And a deputy director in Governor Larry Hogan's administration has been fired for social media posts he made about the shootings during protests in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Arthur McLove IV posted in support of this teen. This is 17-year-old Kyle Rittenhouse. Police say Rittenhouse shot and killed two people and wounded another during demonstrations over the police shooting of Jacob Blake. Democrats called for Love's dismissal after the post. Love served as deputy director of the governor's office of community initiatives. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Monday, everyone. On this Monday, we are tracking some showers and temperatures that are going to be below average for today. And we're also tracking increasing humidity as we work our way into tomorrow and rising temperatures as we head into Wednesday. But in the meantime, oh yeah, it's going to be a great day out there in terms of the humidity. Again, still on the lower side of things, but it'll continue to increase and we can see those numbers headed back to the 70s by tomorrow and beyond. And then this afternoon, we do have some showers moving into the forecast. So make sure you do take the rain gear before you head out and about for today. Keep it around for the next several days out the door. We will stay dry for the most part. And then again, the rain moves in with temperatures staying below average. Ashley, over to you. All right, Lynette, thank you. Stay with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates. And for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. You can watch Live Radar and get breaking news sent straight to your phone. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Ashley James. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.